Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking a bit about neck cups, how to pick the right neck cup to start and where you want to place your neck cups for optimal plant growth. Neck cups do have some subtle differences from different manufacturers. One of the first is the bottom of the neck cups. Don't hesitate to cut bars away from the bottom and open up space for your plants to grow out of the bottom. The most important differentiator between different neck cups is going to be the upper lip of the neck cup, which holds the neck cup suspended within the hole that you place it in. If your neck cups have small upper lips, you're going to find that you can only place them in holes which are perfectly cut to the size of the neck cup. And even then, your neck cup might struggle to hold up plants which are large in size and weight. However, if you find well-constructed neck cups with a wide upper lip, you'll be able to fit into a variety of holes and ensure that your plants stay stable. Once you've got some neck cups, you're going to start to realize just how simple and easy it is to get plants to grow. Here I've got lettuce growing within a neck cup suspended in non-circulating water. This is just regular unfiltered tap water with a bit of hydroponic nutrients mixed in. What you'll want to pay attention to when filling your reservoir is just how high that water level is going. You do not want it to touch the bottom of your neck cup as it will drown the plant if the roots don't have access to air at the top of the reservoir. If you're looking to put small seedlings into a reservoir and you don't yet have roots readily available out of the bottom of the neck cup, you're going to need to fill that reservoir a little bit higher. The lettuce seedling I have here was started in rock wool. And so inside of this neck cup is a small piece of rock wool and the remainder of the space is being taken up with clay pebbles. The great thing about rock wool and these clay pebbles is that they both wick moisture throughout them. So as long as part of the clay pebbles and part of the rock wool is suspended below the water level, it's going to wick moisture up into the upper limits of my neck cup and provide water access to my plant roots. With small seedlings in particular, you're going to want to be careful and pretty precise in how you go about filling up your neck cup. The seedlings I have here have a small bit of rock wool around the base of the plant. And I know that if I get that small piece of rock wool buried near the bottom of my neck cup, it's going to act as a moisture wicking mechanism to get moisture up to where the roots can reach it, even if my roots aren't quite long enough to come out of the bottom of the neck cup yet. Clay pebbles and rock wool are also very great in the sense that they are totally natural products and won't add any outside chemicals to your growing station. Beyond that, they're also quite flexible and will shift and turn as necessary while your plant grows to accommodate that plant growth. And that's really all you need to know about using net cups to suspend your plants in hydroponic systems. Very simple stuff that leads to great plant growth. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll provide links in the description below with all of the products that I've used here today. Happy growing!